Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am making two versions of our sweet potatoes. We have a twice baked holiday candied sweet potato. And then we're also going to do our candied, what we call candied yams, but they're a sweet potato. All right, let's get into this. I have a pot that I need to start boiling. So let's get this going. All right, we've got our pot over here turned on high. We want it to get boiling so we can boil up these potatoes just a little bit. And then these sweet potatoes, we need to get them prepped to go into the oven. One of the things I do with all my potatoes, whether they're a russet or a sweet potato, a yam, is I always cut the ends. It's something that I learned from my husband who was in the restaurant business for years. And then I'm just going to cut on the top. And how I'm cutting the center is you see how it rolls? I want it to, when I put it in the pan, I don't want it to roll or shift. So I'm gonna, like I did, I rolled it to see where it would stop. And then I cut it. Now you don't want to cut all the way through. You just want to cut about three quarters of the way and that'll be fine. We need to get the oven started because our candy yams and our twice baked sweet potato are going to be going in the oven. Now I'm going to be using my air fryer for the first time for potatoes. I've made fried chicken several times. I failed. Uh, tonight I actually made a good batch. So it's a refinement process. While that's going we're going to put our potatoes in our pan. Now I'm going to use a little avocado spray oil on them, just on the top, and that's it. And that's just to kind of cover them and coat them on the top. We'll put these over off to the side. Next, we're going to cut up our sweet potatoes, and I'm going to do bite-sized chunks. And what I'm doing, I want to do them a little bigger instead of small tiny pieces because boiling them and then putting them in the oven will turn them into mush if you make them too small. Okay, you'll notice that our potatoes are all chopped up. We need to put them into the pot over here, which is starting to boil. Now these will boil for about seven minutes. Now we need to start our candy yam mixture. We're adding one half cube of butter, three quarters cups of white sugar, about a tablespoon of cinnamon, Just a sprinkle of ground clove and a pinch of allspice. We're also going to add a dash or a pinch of ginger. To this mixture we're adding approximately a cup of white Cairo syrup. We're adding just a little bit of molasses.
We're going to be using a full stick of butter. We put in half to start with. And now we'll put in the second half. We want our sugars to dissolve and become almost caramel, but not quite. We need to get our sweet potatoes in the oven, so let's get going. Let's check our sweet potatoes over here. I'm going to turn them off. They're done. I need to rinse them and we'll be right back. In this recipe, you can use walnuts, pecans, almonds. I'm using pecans. What I need to do is because our local stores do not have smaller crushed pecans, I need to chop these up. All they have is whole. So all I'm going to do is take and chop them up. It doesn't have to be uniform. I'm just going over it, just giving it a rough chop. I want to make sure that they're more of a tinier piece than a big piece like this. All right, we're gonna get ready to assemble our candied yams. All right, we're almost done with our candied yams. Adding our yumminess. I am reserving some of the sauce for our twice baked potatoes. Now we're topping them with the pecans. All right, the next thing we're going to do is pop these in the oven. Those are going to cook for 20 minutes. We'll see you then. I'm going to check on this oven because it's the first time I've used an air fryer for these sweet potatoes and I don't want them burnt. Okay. They're perfect. So now that our sweet potatoes are out, I need to check the baked potatoes. They're done. <laughs> now what I need to do with these potatoes is let them cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes before we start making them a twice baked potato. On the other hand, these candied yams, when these go in the oven dressed, these will go in the oven and they'll cook for the same time. I'll put them back in the oven on bake for about five minutes and keep a close eye on them. We'll see in a few. Okay, at this point we are going to pop open our sweet potatoes and start taking out all the yummy goodness in them. Well, that didn't quite work out.
So now we're just going to throw away the skin. So now all we're going to do is mash the sweet potato. Well, they didn't come out quite like I wanted, so we're going to improvise. I am going to butter a muffin tin. Isn't that what cooking is about? Improvising? To our mashed sweet potatoes, we're going to add what we reserved to our mixture. We're going to add just a little bit of flour. What we're trying to do is get our potatoes to stick together. At this point, I'm going to add in our nuts. I want to make sure that each one of these is buttered really well. And that there's enough butter in the bottom. We're going to top with some pecans. Now we add the bun. I think our potatoes are ready for us right now. So let's check it out. There you go. Okay, let's take a look. And here is my version of candied yams or candied sweet potatoes, whichever you prefer. This is supposed to be a twice baked potato. I should say twice baked sweet potato. It wasn't a complete failure because this is absolutely delicious. This turned out a lot better than I thought it would. From a failure to it's a caper. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a safe and happy holiday. As always, we'll see you next time. Bye.